Hi everybody, stay tuned to see what I got up to in July. A festival called Vintage on the Dock returned to the city at the start of July. This is a touring festival which travels around the country and it was well worth a look. There was lots going on as you can see and lots of very enthusiastic dancers. My favourite part of the festival was of course the clothes and it was great that there were so many people dressed up in vintage styles. This was an area of the festival called the Marketplace and I absolutely loved filming in here because there was so much going on and so many people dressed up. I didn't know where to point the camera first. As I was still in a vintage mood after the festival, I popped into number 69A on Renshaw Street, which is a truly unique Liverpool antique shop. There's something for everyone in here and you could spend hours looking around, which I very almost did. I was very, very tempted with this little Buddha guy and I actually might go back and get him. Oh my God, guys, how cool are these ears? It was my mum's 80th birthday this year, so my sister and I took her to see Cats the Musical, which was on at the Liverpool Empire. We had a bite to eat first in Back Niche, which is a very nice Lebanese street food restaurant in Bold Street. We had some chicken skewers and sawarma with hummus, Arabic bread and spicy potatoes. This place is well worth a visit guys and the portions are huge. We had a visit this month from our lovely friend Marsha from Sheffield. Hello Marsha, I know you'll be watching. We visited the Lady Lever Art Gallery in Port Sunlight, which is a lovely gallery on the Wirral, which I've featured on some of my previous vlogs. We had some lunch in Parkgate at the Red Lion in the sun, as you can see. And of course, when the sun is out, there has got to be ice cream. Something that I've been absolutely loving this month is iced coffee. I've been drinking a lot of the iced coffee from Cafe Nero, so thought I'd give it a go at home using our espresso machine. I don't drink a huge amount of coffee, I'm more of a tea girl really, but it's nice to switch things around in the summer. 
I usually have two shots of coffee in this drink, but it's entirely up to you how much of a caffeine kick you need. I'm using unsweetened soy milk here, but regular milk works just as well. We went camping in July to Porth Clay Campsite, which is in Pembrokeshire. And this was the weather pretty much every day. Fog, fog and more fog. But weather aside, it's a beautiful part of the country with loads to see. I filmed another campsite review which you'll see on the channel shortly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got my camping tea. It's Monday today and are we going to work? Hell no, we're going to Tembe. We had a trip to Tembe while we were in the area and we were really impressed with it. As you can see, the sun finally put its hat on. Tembe is a beautiful town with loads of lovely beaches. I went for drinks and dim sum at the Blind Tiger, which is on Seal Street in Liverpool this month. We had some really creative cocktails, which were delicious, beautifully presented, as you can see. And we got quite a lot of food for two of us. Crispy duck, which my friends were skillfully dissecting there, steamed dumplings, sweet potato fries, pad thai, marinated sticky bun. I get so hungry when I narrate these vlogs. This is the outside area, which is a really nice space with some amazing artwork. And how about this for an impressive cocktail? This is my friend's pina colada bubbling away. The JM Painting Prize returned to the Walker this month, so we went to have a look. I have to say that I'm no expert on contemporary art, but it's always good to get a bit of culture in your life, and the Walker is our favourite Liverpool gallery. The gallery was encouraging people to vote on their favourite painting and also to leave some comments about the exhibition. So that was my July guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and why not follow me on social media so you can see what I get up to on a daily basis if you can stand it. All the details are in the comments box below. See you in the next video. Bye.